Welcome up crew to another banger video. Today we'll be getting into Cold War Zombies to find the DIE Wonder Gun as they call it and the four possible upgrades. This gun absolutely dominates in this game so I hope you enjoy this walkthrough. Let's get into it. First you'll want to mow some zombies down and grab about 6500 points to get to the next section needed to turn on the power. Once you gain the 6,500 points, you will need to unblock the next four obstacles to get to the power button. Once the facility doors open, go right and open the double doors and continue across the room to the next obstacle. Your last obstacle will be the door to the room with the power button. Hit the power button on the console in the middle of the room. This will activate two terminals. Make your way around the particle accelerator and activate them. There's one on each side of the room. After you activate them, an aether hold will appear in the middle of the room. Activate the anomaly and you'll be teleported in what I call the other world. Head back towards the crash site to one of two fast travel aether portals. One will be at the nose of the downed airplane, and the other will be at the back of the pond. The objective will tell you which one to go to. In my game here, it's in the back of the pond. Go through the portal and retrieve the machine part needed to craft the Pack-a-Punch machine. Return to the location of the Aether Hold and craft the machine. Run up the stairs and wait to be sent back through the Aether Hold. Now, we will need to shoot a blue light in five locations inside this room. This last light is a little difficult to hit, so make sure you hit it. Five seconds later, you will be sent through a secret anomaly. Here, you will be met by zombies having a disco party and a group of zombies to the right performing the infamous coffin dance. Once you are teleported back, a crate will be in front of you. Open it and you will find a possibility of an assortment of gear, including resources, perks, and typically a weapon. I've gotten anything from an uncommon pistol to a legendary ray gun. This is why I hit this easter egg every match. Noticing a large concentration of radioactivity in your AO. Something is headed your way. This message was to let you know of the megaton that has just appeared. Run to the top of the plane wing and wait for him to emerge. Once he emerges, drop his health to zero and cause him to split. You split that bastard in two. Now finish the job. Stand next to this tree and trigger one of the megatons to throw his green plasma at you. This will cause the tree to react. We will need this later. Drop both megatons and retrieve the keycard dropped by the second megaton split. Next, we will be hitting another aether hold to get the aether scope parts. This can be in two locations, in the penthouse or the room to turn on the power. Activate the aether hold to the other world. In this part, you will need to grab three parts located around the map. They show up one at a time in the same three locations, but they are randomized. Just beware, every time you pick up a part, a herd of hounds will appear. The three locations are going to be under the stairs in the yard where you begin, on top of the plane wreck and crash site, and by the aether portal in the particle accelerator room. Don't forget about the hounds.
After gaining all three parts, you'll be sent back through the portal. After killing all the hounds, make your way downstairs to the bench below the pack punch and craft the aether scope. Run to the weapons lab and use the key card to retrieve the DIE remote. Scanning for decompressive isotopic estrangement machine. Make your way below the penthouse and remove the obstacle on the stairs and open the door to give yourself escape routes for this next part. Run to the part of the wall broken in the living room and activate the IE machine. You will then need to lead the zombies in front of the steel door to gain the power to discharge the DIE. If you do not get enough power in time, you will hear this. You will then need to wait 25 seconds for the machine to cool down. Once you get enough power, you will hear this. Make your way to the opening in the wall and discharge the DIE. Step inside the room and grab the DIE Wonder weapon. As default, the DIE gun will have the shockwave upgrade equipped. Make your way up towards the top of the penthouse and find the box on the ledge and shoot it with the shockwave. Go down to where the box fell and pick up the clear vial and put it next to the tree that reacted to the Megaton's plasma. It will take a minute for the vial to fill, so let's make our way back to the living room. Across the room, you can see a canister. You cannot grab it, so use the vacuum of the DIE to pull it to you. Back to the weapons lab we go. Drop down to the bottom floor and insert the canister in the corner. We will use this later. Go back to the tree and grab the vial that should be full, indicated by a full blue vial instead of being empty. Clear the other obstacle inside the facility and run down to the first floor of the medical bay and pour the vial onto the chains wrapping the box to break them off. We have now unlocked our first upgrade, the cryo emitter. Run back to the pack punch and grab the aether scope. It's our lucky day, strike team. Go back to the medical bay, and you will now see an aether hold at the top of the stairs to your left. Enter it. I say we shut down the cyclotron. Severing the dimensional connection is our best chance to contain the spread. In the room next to where you enter the aether hold, a diary will appear on the desk. Grab it and drop down to the first floor. Approach the corner of the room behind the speed cola machine and activate the anomaly. Dr. Vogel will appear for you to hand him the diary. You do not need to wait for him to finish speaking until the last time you hand him the diary. Move to the armor and damage upgrade machine where you will find another anomaly. The third anomaly will be in the trial room to the far right side of the room. Activate it and hand him the diary again. Move back to the bench where we crafted the Aether Scope and hand Vogel his diary one last time. Listen to his speech and stay close as the zombies will not attack if you are close enough to Vogel. When he finishes talking, you will be sent back through the portal. Head back to the desk where the diary was and enter the password into the computer. This will open two more Aether Hold portals. If you haven't done so by now, you will need to grab the stamina up and then head under the stairs by the pack punch machine and enter the Aether Hold.
In this hold, we need to find three crystals, vacuum them up with the die gun, and shoot them at the box located in the back corner opposite of where you entered the aether hold. Only trick is, we have to do them one at a time. This is why we needed the stamina up perk. These crystals are in the same three locations, and you can do them in any order. The three locations are the crash site just outside the tunnel, the penthouse behind the perk machine, and the pond near the mystery box located off to the side. Once you grab the last crystal, you will be sent back through the hold portal. Don't be afraid if you haven't shot the last crystal at the box. As long as you vacuumed the last one before being sent back, you can still shoot it at the box. After firing the last crystal at the box, we have now unlocked the Electrobolt upgrade. Make your way to the pond next and enter the other Aether hold portal. Head to the nose of the airplane at the crash site and next to the travel portal to the left will be a fuse box on the ground. Shoot it to pop it open and grab the fuse. You need to be very quick with this. Run to the bottom of the weapons lab and enter the fuse into the plasma cutter across from the dead shot daiquiri perk machine. After the plasma cutter makes its cut, you will be sent back. Go back to the pond and find the junk truck next to the hold portal you enter. On the back of the truck is another box. It is now unlocked and contains the thermophasic upgrade. For this last upgrade, we will need to lure a hound next to the canister we placed in the weapons lab earlier. Kill a hound next to the canister to fill it with the plague hound gas. Grab the canister and head to the crash site and find the box at the bottom of the wing against the fence. Place the canister on it and shoot it. We have now unlocked all four upgrades for the DIE gun. The Nova 5, the Thermophasic, the Electro Bolt, and the Cryo Emitter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell to become part of the Opti Crew Noti Gang. Much love, y'all. Opti out.